Hi, welcome again to Mark Studio. And in this video, we're just going to show you about what we've been doing on the online courses in association with Newbury Arts in Sarancester. The first one we're going to do is to simply do some old boots. Anyone has got some old boots in their houses. So it'd be quite nice just to find something in there which everyone had had and we can paint from there. Just some splashy watercolour with some ink dry. The first thing I'm going to show you though is the drawing, how to get the drawing done. And that's just taking a line for a walk. Okay, so here's that first clip. Here they are, a pair of old boots, nice and warm and got a lot of character to them. So I'm going to put these over there, over to the other side of the studio there so I can see them. And then I'm going to start drawing. Actually stop, so here we go. So if I just get my line for walking here and have a look and see what I've got on there. Basically this is just what I call getting to know you sketch. Getting to know exactly what is actually in front of you. Understanding all the colours, the shapes and stuff like that. It's always nice to do this when you've got observation drawing or anything really, just getting to know exactly what you're doing. It's a very quick drawing, just as you can see, just keeps on going and going and going. Never really stop, because if you do, then you end up with three or four different kinds of drawings on there. So I just want to keep going and observational. It takes a bit more attention when you do this. That's another one there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the shoelaces, crisscross, just like that, cross there. And then down from there, the shoelace thing comes all the way down to there. And this one here goes way like that. Just keep going, it's a flowing drawing, very flowing. And just plotting where everything is, first of all, getting to know all the shapes. This one around there. Let's get a bit more attention here. And there, and then around there. That around there. Got this tongue thing. Boot going across there. Like that. I'll just put a line across here so they can sit on something. And then these laces as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Going across there. So, and they're very important. You see later when we start doing the ink drawing how important those laces are. I show you the shape of the boot. There we are. That didn't take long. That's a very quick sketch in pencil of the drawing of the boots. Okay, so now we've done the drawing side. So it's quite an easy, quite sketchy. Uh, we don't want to actually put too much drawing on there. As I said in the uh, demonstration, don't want to put too much drawing in because then you start to fill in and you don't want to fill in at all. We want to put some splashy watercolor on. Now we're going to put the ink drawing on and we see how that approach, how we can approach that in a much more freer way because we've already got that drawing on there we won't have to work it out, we can just go over the drawing in which you put on. And here it goes. Okay, now get myself positioned right. We're now gonna try and get on doing the ink drawing. Very quick ink drawing, same thing as we've done before. Always, when you're doing this as well, don't just don't follow the pencil drawing. Also, see, I'm going to, have to change my pen. This one. Always have a good guard idea to get a very loads of pens just in case you run out. Just like that, aren't That's better. That's better. There we are. 
and scrub it down quickly. So I can get that instantaneous impression instead of slaving over it to really work and just go over and over and keep looking at the boots as well you've got to keep looking at them just in case you've missed anything or it's good for observation just to see what it's like there's one boot and now this one very quick people ask me about what happens to all my pencil drawings well when the watercolor goes on it tends to actually fade the pencil drawing away there is an under, under drawing which is quite nice when you do do that that it stays there and it's always there but it's quite nice to to have underneath it's your foundation to your drawing okay that's the ink drawing done so now we're going to do so when I put the ink, the watercolor on, very splashy. We're going to try to make it free because we've got a very harsh black drawing on there, and we want to make it looser. So we want to put some basic colors on, and the only colors we're going to be using is cadmium blue, there's cobalt blue, cadmium red, and cadmium yellow. Now it's only just the three colors, the three primary colors, so they can mix together, and we won't get too much too much messiness on that, too many browns and all that sort of thing. We want to add greens in it or any raw umbers. We just want to make it really nice and fresh. So this is how we approach the watercolour. Now shove some watercolour on first, some water on first. Just shove it on. I'm not really bothered. Oh, the covering of it or anything like that. And that's the attitude to want to do it. Just want to carry on with that sort of attitude. And it's going to make this go flat. So I'll check that one. So now, what you want to do is get some get some yellow on it. I'm just going to shove some yellow on where I particularly want it to be. Then this is going to give me my light to the painting it's going to shine through if you tend to get the blue on first it tends to darken your painting I just want to shove it on well I think I've got some light onto it I'm not really paying much attention to the boots really I just want to mix my own colors really make the painting go and I want to keep some of those white on there as well just shove it on don't be so precious that's me talking to myself really don't know that and that's it Go across there like that. I want to get some red. Shove that one in certain areas. There we are. And around there like that. Make it nice around there. Still looking at the boots. Do I want something? Oh, it's still light. <clears throat> because of the um, thing. Go a few little specks in there. So a few little things like this are going up and down. So. so I've got some colour now so when I put the blue on it's going to change that completely so I'm going to give you lots of shadow I'm going to wash that out and now I've got the blue and really put that on certain areas now whoa look at that changing that let's take some of that off and then that's it now that's really changed the whole complex of the painting the whole context of it there we are also when you do the watercolor too many paintings watercolor painting you have to remember that when you do the watercolor it changes when you try it gets dry and I'll put this on down under here and under there changes and you notice about it's changing now you just leave the painting alone don't don't force your watercolor there we are. and then give it a few more splashes um, it's just to be courageous in what you do Some 
put it up and down the middle. Get some more red. Maybe just put some more red in here. And then come up in here like that. Yeah. Now I'm just going to dry that off. And then we're going to put some more wet and dry on there. Okay. I might just a few more splashes here actually. You know. Just a little thinner than that. Okay. Now I'm going to dry that off and that will change. You'll see that when you finish. Okay, I've dried that off. And now I'm just going to, I've um, inked in some of it as well. So to bring it out a bit more, it's just got another little ink drawing over the top to bring it out because it's fading off a bit. So I'm now going to put some, this is on wet on dry. So it's not wet on wet. And to get some blue underneath to get some more shadows under here to get a darker shadow so I'm just going to pat some blue into here and I actually brush it in or anything like that just going to pat it just come up from there all the way across now get some shadow it's on a flat board there we are. so that makes it a lot more darker and to make it even more darker I'm just going to pat some red into it as well. This is the colours in there. It's cobalt blue, cadmium red and cadmium yellow. All hue. So it's not lights or darks or anything like that. It's just the middle range. There we are. To come into there like that. A bit more of a, a shadow in there now. But it's just more blue into that red. Makes it even darker. Into the dark side. So now, now like that. See? And then I'm going to go over the shoelaces again. And so I'm going to get some dark in there as well. Again, the shoelaces again. So I've got this blue. And I'm just going to go over just with the tip of the brush now. And it darkens everything. Really makes it dark there. And it brings out the shape of the. Again, brings out the shape of the boot there. So this is just really just drawing that in with the tip of the brush with the blue. There we are. And with then in there like that. Okay. And with that in that blue, I'm gonna make them a bit more thicker actually. Just go like that, don't be too. Ah, I've been too precious with it. Making sure that it's right. Just go like that with it one around. And it's not quite dark enough yet. So in that blue, I'm just going to add, just touch in with the tip of the brush, tap in some red to make it more darker. There you go. And a bit more than that. Let that run into each other. And then I'm just going to dry that off. Again with a hairdryer. That's it. Okay, now I've uh, dried that off and you see the colours have changed and how the difference in the boot size with the, uh, with the, when I darkened it up. I've taken the outside tape off all the way around there. So all that needs to be done is, I'm just going to show you now, it's what it looks like when you've got a mount around there. And that makes a lot of difference. And that's the whole thing about watercolors is they've got to be presented properly for you for the for the viewer and so now we'd see with that mount on to get it framed and it looks a completely different picture okay so that was done quite quickly so that's the painting done and you can see how it progresses when and when you put the mount on it makes a hell of a lot of difference to your painting okay so if you ever want to see any more of these or if you want to contact us even more contact on new brewery arts in Sancester or subscribe to this channel if you can subscribe to the channel you will get to know a lot more of the new videos which will be coming up in which we've been doing in the online courses so press that button for subscribing and also get in contact with new brewery arts to see if there's any more online classes in which you can join thank you very much for watching